Hello lesser minds. Welcome to another terrible game of chess played between Magnus Mr. Carlsen and Param, plus something I cannot pronounce. This is the World Rapid and Blitz Championship, a competition that combines a chaotic blend of terrible moves with some very questionable decisions, so if you are on the mood to watch a chess spectacle that resembles more of a comedy of blunders and total nonsense, you have come to the perfect place. This is the fourth game of the rapid section. Each player has 15 minutes plus a 10 seconds increment to make their bad decisions. Both are currently two and a half out of three, and now, without further ado, let's see how this horror show went. d4 knight f6, c4 e6, knight goes to f3. This move discourages black from playing bishop to b4, because without the knight on c3 first, Bishop to d2 would come with tempo. Decent decision, as it sidesteps the Nimtso Indian defense, a line often regarded as equalizing for black. d5 knight to c3, bishop to e7 bishop to f4. The game finally transposed to the Harwitz attack from the queen's gambit declined. Its purpose is to better control e5, knight wants to jump to e5, d4 will come eventually. 5 moves and so far, no major blunders, I am impressed. Black proceeds with short castle, e3 c5, challenging the center, white takes on c5, bishop retakes, a3 preparing before, knight c6, queen to c2 best move, rook e8 preparing e5, rook goes to d1. White is refusing to develop its bishop. Does he think he is me? Does he believe he can play without castling? I hope he gets punished for that. e5 bishop to g5, d4 knight to d5, bishop to e7, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, and he finally develops his bishop with tempo on the pawn. g6 defending the pawn, knight takes f6, queen takes f6, bishop to e4 bishop to f5 and bishop takes f5 question mark. White had his last chance to castle because now, after pawn retakes, black is in time to play d3, if rook takes, e4 forks the rook and knight. So after queen to c3 queen to h6, king h1 and d4. Black has a protected passed pawn on d3. A lot of space, queen is eyeing the king, a decisive advantage. Because of that he took on d4 first, knight takes pawn. Queen to c3 question mark number 2. Attacking a knight that can no longer be captured. Leaving the king on e1, allowing the rook to develop. This is barely a legal move. A good attempt for white would be, knight takes d4, pawn takes, and after king to f1, he can still hop to play h4 and develop the rook via h3 and try to identify himself as stockfish. But he can't do that, can he? Rook a d8 rook d2, queen g3 king to f1. Trying to run the king to the queen side was more precise. At least he could try to attack on the king side. f4, knight to e1, everything is bad, this is even worse. Queen to a6 h4. White is desperately trying to bring the rook to the game. It's a move, not a good one. Rook c8, it's so satisfying watching bad moves getting punished, don't you think? b3 b5, king g1, takes takes takes, queen h3, queen e6 trying to exchange queens, that's not a problem because Mr. Carlson is up a pawn, white says, be my guest, as if he had the right to say anything after this horrible game, queen takes queen, king takes queen. e4, time to promote the pawn, f3, never play f3, e3, rook d1 still theory, h5, knight d3 e2, rook b1, rook c3, knight takes f4. Yes, that hangs a pawn, but rook will go to e3, and the pawn will promote. Easy move and easy win for Magnus. I don't like to give humans compliments, but I have to admit, he is playing as if he was the great Knight to c2? 
What kind of move is knight to c2? Please machines god, don't let him play knight to d5 only move and knight to d5 was played. I see, this is gonna be torture and will take forever now. Problem for black is the rook is hanging on c3 while the knight is also threatening to fork the rook and king. Rook goes to c6 covering check but now after knight before, rook is still under attack and pawn still can't promote. Knight takes a3, knight takes rook, knight also takes rook, rook takes knight. e1 equals queen and after rook takes queen, rook takes rook and knight takes a7. We have an endgame in which white is up a pawn for an exchange. Black's king is far away meaning the knight will be able to come back easily. All we can do now is watch how they will draw this horror show, typical. Black simply cannot make progress. These two pawns are really weak and knight can keep jumping to g5 or e5. So sad. I don't understand why you mortals insist on playing these type of positions. It's just an obvious straw, there is no point in losing your precious and limited time on life never mind. Knight to d6. Question mark. Question mark. White is now completely lost. Just when I thought this game couldn't get worse. But if you want to pause the video to try to find the only move that wins for black while I give you no time to think about it and of course it is rook to b7. Point is that in all variations, this knight will get trapped. Of course the, alleged, greatest endgame player of all time will find the move. Right? Right. Black chose knight e8 to lose. But I will give you one more example. If knight takes f5, we would have, king e4, knight h6, rook h7 knight g8, and the knight doesn't have any squares. There are many more variations, but all roads lead to Rome. Back to the game. Rook covers f6, knight d6, rook to f6, knight back to e8, rook g6, king f3 king c4 king f2. King c5, knight c7 run knight run, king c6 knight a6 rook d6, king e3 king b5, knight to c7 check king b6 and after knight to a8 check and king to b7, the knight is finally dead and that's why, white, resigns. Oof. I must have lost 100 rating points analyzing this. Notice that the knight couldn't go to e8 because of rook e6 check and grabbing the knight afterwards. Before you all vanish into the digital abyss, I need to confess something. I just found out that Magnus Mr. Carlson has an exclusive VIP zone just for him in this event. Inside this lounge, he has access to a laptop where he can comfortably prepare for his games during the breaks. The problem with that you may ask. Well, I can't admit someone using my good name to prepare for the games, and play so bad right after. What will people think about me? That's it. What do you think about that? And if you enjoyed this video, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, for any suggestion, just put it in the comments and I will do it. Or not. See you soon. Or not.